Hello traders, FS Pipcoletti here. Today is Tuesday, November 14th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Euro US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame. So we do have CPI inflation data coming out today. Definitely a big, big news event for the dollar, so do be cautious as usual. But on the monthly time frame, I still think this looks like an uptrend, or at least it's forming an uptrend. I think it's going to go up and make a nice one, two, three, four, five, most likely go up and take out these previous highs. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame is where you can see a nice uptrend right here, which I still think is a wave one. I still think this is more likely an A, B, C of two. And I still believe that there's a very good likelihood that we are already in the very early stages of a wave three, eventually going to make a wave four and a wave five. So let's take it right down to that daily time frame. So on the daily time frame, like I said, we do have a very big news event coming out today. I do suspect that this is the end of the wave C right here, the wave C of two. So I do suspect that there is a chance that this could just keep on trending up, making higher highs and higher lows. So let's take it down to that four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, I do think that the dollar, based on what I see on the dollar, I do think the dollar could possibly go up one more time. So I am thinking that the news may possibly cause this to go down one more time, probably stop hunt everybody that has a buy order in, and then go down to one of these Fibonacci levels, and then maybe later on today, or maybe even later on this week, is when it will actually end the correction and end up continuing the uptrend. So taking it right down to the one hour time famous where I got my Fibonacci retracement on this last push down. To me it actually seems pretty clear that we have three waves up, three waves down, one, two, three waves up again. Kind of looks to me like we're forming a WXY pattern. So if this turns at one of these Fib levels, makes an engulfing and pulse move to the downside, I would actually take that as a sort. Like I said, I think there's a good chance the dollar will go up, which will probably cause this to go down. I bet this over here is like an A. This is probably like a WXY or B. And it will probably go back down again for a wave C. Now, like I was explaining on the higher time phase, the trend is up. I do suspect that this is the most likely thing to happen, but if the news causes to just keep on going up then I would definitely hold on to my longs I wouldn't really get out of any long trades unless I saw a break of stretcher to the downside and I definitely wouldn't be trying to go sort unless I see this picture right here with a break of stretcher to the downside and a nice impulsive engulfing move down so don't forget to join my free discord group the link for that is on the screen and in the description thanks and happy trading